Hi, my name is Margaret. I'm the programmer for ESOP Games, and I'm going to talk today about the new immigration controls in Brunelleschi Age of Architects. As you can see, I've already got a character opened up in Brunelleschi, and there is Sovereign, which is going to let us take a look at the new immigration controls. Let's go to Manage, Government. Right here on the government overview page, you can see as a sovereign, I've got a lot of options here, but we're going to focus on this big button that says immigration policy. That will bring up our new options. As you can see, the new immigration policy has a lot of options. Let's focus first down here on options and application. Under options, you can see that we have three ways in which we can apply all of these settings. We can choose to apply them to new minister applicants, to new resident applicants, and we can also choose to apply them to a new concept, new citizenship applicants, which basically means residents of your settlement now have the option to apply for citizenship, and if they do so and you have this checkbox marked, they will first have to qualify based on your immigration policy settings. Once you've got your options set up the way you want them, let's take a look at application, how they're going to be applied. One option is do not require these qualifications, which basically just means ignore all the settings that we have in any of these other categories. Another option that we have is allow move in on qualification. What that means is that anyone who would like to become a, a resident of your settlement, if they meet all of the qualifications that you put here under these categories, then they can go ahead and move into your settlement without having to take any additional steps. This last option under application, require trusted minister sovereign approval. This means that even if a new resident does qualify based on your immigration policy, that they will just send a message to you as the sovereign letting you know that they would like to join your settlement and then you either approve or deny their application. The trusted minister portion of this is important because it means that if you have any ministers which you have set as trusted, then they will also see applications from new residents or aspiring citizens and they too will be able to either approve or deny these applications, helping you administer the settlement. Once you have options and applications set up the way you like, it's time to go ahead and look at all the individual options that you can set on your immigration policy. Under types, you can set either just heroes or just lords are allowed to apply. Under genders, you can specify that you're only interested in boy applicants or just interested in girl applicants. Under classes, you can specify which classes you would like applicants from and of course also which classes you don't want to have applicants from. You can set which ranks you're interested in, a minimum level, minimum importance, as well as which cultures and religions you're accepting applicants from. In each of these subcategories, you'll notice there are little blue buttons for your convenience. These allow you to uncheck all of the options in a category or check all of the options in a category with a single click. Using these various immigration policy options, you and your ministers should be able to bring in exactly the kind of crowd that you need to grow your settlement into new levels of prosperity in the growing mythic renaissance of Brunelleschi. Hope you'll join us at BruneGame.com. Thank you for watching.